Welcome back to the part two of this video series about very complicated piece of technology, browser security policies. In this video, we are going to talk about cross-origin embedder policy and cross-origin resource policy. If you haven't watched the first part of this video series, uh, could you please search it? It's on my channel and watch that. It's about course and it's pretty cool. It's pretty long, but still cool. And let's make it simple. I kindly remind you to subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to my channel and we're both happy. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start uh, taking a look at this corp thing. I remind you, it's a cross-origin request policy. Uh, as you can see, right now we have the same, completely the same example with the same image and script there, um, but different headers. As you can see here uh, in this endpoint, like corp, uh, I have this uh, new header, uh, cross-origin resource policy. Uh, and it has three options. You can set it three yeah, options. Uh, you can say it's cross-origin, same site or same origin. What it means? It means like you as an owner of some resource, for example, script, image or something that is requested uh, as a third party, for example, you uh, CDN service or the service that provide the images for the third-party services. And this services, for example, I just want my new iPhone.com, want to request uh, some image from your website. Uh, it sh You, as a source of this image, may specify whether this image can be uh, loaded and rendered on the third-party service or not uh, with this header. In this case, uh, as you can see, I said uh, that m all resources that from this path will have this header, and this header means that these resources can be rendered, used uh, somehow in non-course mode. If you don't know what does it mean, non-course, please uh, see my first video of this series. And it can be used under any domain. It means like whether my domain, for example, name uh, images, awesomeimages.com and uh, images from my, my domain is requested by uh, I just want an iPhone.com, it will be rendered. Buzzer will say everything's okay, we'll see. Uh, same site, it's for only the same site and same origin only for the same origin. For example, I have another endpoint, as you can see, that says same origin. Okay, let's see the real examples. As you can see, I have this corp image uh, on this web page. It requested from the, this corp endpoint and the script corp endpoint. Uh, just a reminder that this corp endpoint has cross origin. It means like the image and script can be uh, rendered and used by any domains. It means if we open web browser, refresh the page, we can see an image we f five. We can see third party requests. Uh, we can see the script. Everything is okay. It's corp indicator. As you can, as you can see, we can check. Uh, this is our header. Everything is okay. Everything is rendered. Uh, the third request is the request for data in non-course mode. Uh, here, here we go. In fetch, you may specify that this. Uh, this request shouldn't ha uh, have course. It means the browser won't check it for course. Yeah, but you cannot get the content of it and it will fail uh, here. Yeah, but still the request will be sent. Yeah, in and browser won't check the course, but you cannot access it. Uh, great, and it works like that. But what if we will set the value as it says here, same origin. It means this image or script can be used only in the same origin. 
under the same origin. Okay, let's see, same or, uh, origin, let's refresh it. As you can see, there is a no image, the image failed to load. Let's open our uh, dev tool. Yeah, as you can see, it's blocked, status blocked. Uh, if we open, it says, okay, uh, you use, uh, you should use different corp header because current corp header, as you can see, is same origin. But my origin is, as you can see, localhost. Yeah. But this resources are from uh, cross-origin.com. It means like the origins not doesn't match, and uh, browser will say no. I'm not going to even render this image. It, I just check the headers. I start downloading this image, but no, I'm not going to use it anyway, even like somewhere. The same with the script. Script blocked. Yeah, and as you can see. Uh, yeah, for the same origin. You may ask, okay, what the difference between the course that we uh, learned in the previous video and this one, corp? The very uh, the difference is uh, in the mode. Course headers, as you remember, re you either request the data to have an access to it, yeah, or you specify a special attribute across origin for the images or scripts or fonts or other uh, downloadable resources that you don't want to have access from your scripts, but they can be used on your page, like images, for example, just rendered. Uh, in this case, if it's sent under course mode, where the browser checks the course headers, this cross origin, uh, cross origin and so on headers, uh, then the course uh, headers should be used and browser will check them and ignore this one, the corp cross origin resource policy. But if it's a usual script request where you don't have access to any content or anything, it's just a request. It's non-course mode and browser will ignore course headers and check this one, these headers. And that's why, as you can see in first, when we specify our resources like script, with a cross origin, we can download it, see the image because they are cross origin and the uh, owner of these resources allowed to use them on different sites, uh, which for example, you may see in CDN, for example, services where they have this header. Uh, but in this case, when we set the cross origin resource policy, same origin, the owner of the resources say, no, they should be used, um, can be used or allowed to be used only within this domain, crossorigin.com. Cool. See you in a few seconds. When you do this cross-origin request in non-course mode, Bumblebee, don't do it, don't do it, do not do it, Bumblebee, do not do it, do not do it. I'm trying to educate people right now. Bumblebee, thank you. Thank you. Let's continue our journey. And right now we are going to talk about the cross origin embedder policy. Co yep. Um, we, in this case, it's a bit different than from the policies that we saw before, because uh, this header should be specified not by the resource owners like images or scripts, but by the website owner who try to get request those scripts. If you are a website owner and you want your website to be safe and secure, and you want that all of all uh, requests uh, has this uh, cross origin request, uh, cross course headers or uh, cross origin resource uh, policies and cross-origin resource sharing policies, um, you may specify this header and then the browser will reject all resources that doesn't have any of these headers and allow only those that has those headers. And that's why you may guarantee that on your website there will be only uh, secured content. Let's see. Uh, right now, as you can see, there is one more endpoint, uh, Quip, <laughs> uh, and it's 
adds a new header, cross-origin embedder policy. It has only one uh, value, yeah, you, you may specify, only require corp, which means that all resources should have some kind of headers, either course or corp. And let's see, this is the same example. Uh, we can see there is a script requested from the co-app folder and there is an image, the same thing. Uh, okay, let's see how it looks like. Re refresh, everything, nothing works. Okay, uh, let's see what we have in our uh, um, dev tool. Uh, okay, uh, as you can see, it says the same. It doesn't, the, the request doesn't have this cross-origin resource policy, yeah? Because it has only this cross-origin embedder policy, which means nothing for this particular request, because it means only for this first request where we uh, downloaded our HTML, yeah, the, the, the request for this, our origin, the original origin, and we say that all resources on this page must have uh, either cores or corp headers. Cool. Neither of those uh, requests has, uh, have these headers, as you can see. But let's start changing something, yeah? We have code. Let's, for example, here we have the folder, a folder from the previous example. There is a corp, yeah? We may say, okay, let's use request, but with a corp header. Let's refresh the page. Oh my God, the image is there. Let's see. Why? Uh, because... Uh, first, uh, when the browser requests our HTML, the first request, uh, we said to browser that this origin, this website, uh, all third-party requests, you must check their either course or corp headers. Cool. Uh, you do remember that course is when you in course mode, corp in non-course mode. In this case, we request just the image without uh, cross-origin attribute. It means like no course mode. That's why this particular uh, request, uh, the browser will check this corp header, cross-origin resource policy. It's there, it's cross-origin, image can be rendered. Okay, let's try to fix the script. Uh, from the first video, you may know that we have course, yeah, course uh, endpoint that will add the course headers to this script. Let's try to load, refresh, see. It's blocked, it's still blocked. Why? Because as far as you know, that it's a, just a request for a script. It means no, uh, it, the script was requested with no, in non-course mode. It means the browser will ignore this allow uh, control allow origin, access control allow origin headers because it's coarse and we'll try to search only for corp that we specify for the image. How we can fix it? Easily. We, uh, we will tell the browser that this script should be requested with in course mode with uh, cross origin header anonymous. Uh, let's see. Refresh, F12, everything is there. Awesome, as you can see, cross origin. Uh, as, as you can see, it's not blocked. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, you may see that everything is there. That's it for today. It wasn't that complicated, am I right? <laughs> okay, uh, could you please uh, share, like, comment, and of course, subscribe, it will help me. Um, do this usual ritual that you do with a awesome video, the same awesome as this one. Uh, and stay tuned because uh, next video will be a bit about a bit different uh, kind of browser security policies, but still cool. And after that, we can start talking about this secret APIs that are hidden by browsers that are allowed to use only after all those browser security policy will be turned on. Okay, see you in a couple of days and see you on GitHub.